Hello everybody, this is Errol. I'm a professional photographer, videographer and YouTuber. From now on, I will be working together with my friend Army. Hello everyone, I'm Laini from Philippines, living in General Salt City. From now on, we will be working together and I hope with the help of Arnie, our videos will be much better than before. Tell us Arnie, what we are going to be reviewing in this video. In this video, we will be reviewing AFI A5 gimbal. Yeah, and what is this gimbal is used for? This gimbal stabilizes the videos taken by the GoPro Hero 5 or GoPro Hero 6. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's start by opening the box to see what is inside. User guidebook in Chinese language. Let's see if it has English version. Yes, it has English version as well. Silica gel, charger, charging cable, counterweight. We need this counterweight when we are balancing GoPro on our gimbal. And batteries. The battery is 18,350 types with 900 milliamps power. And finally, here is our gimbal. So let's put them side by side on the table. When we take out everything from the box, this is all that we have. Users manual, silica gel, counterweight, four batteries, charger and charging cable. And finally our gimbal. In order to balance GoPro Hero 5 or GoPro Hero 6 on the gimbal, we need to attach this counterweight. Just like this. And then now we are ready to attach our GoPro on the gimbal. Before we attach our GoPro, we must take out these. This part. I am removing the screws. And then we will connect GoPro here. GoPro will go here, just like this. Take this one like that and tighten it with screw. other side okay. and now as you see we have attached our GoPro on the gimbal so now we are ready to power on our gimbal and to use our GoPro together with the gimbal let's insert the batteries Battery goes in like that. Batteries are inserted like that. Before you start your video shooting with your GoPro Hero 6 or with GoPro Hero 5, just do a short video shoot and check if there is a small angle deviation or vertical tilting of the videos in the horizontal line. If there is, you need to calibrate your gimbal. In order to calibrate the gimbal, place it vertically on a tripod or a mini table tripod and make sure that it is straight and well balanced on the tripod. To calibrate the gimbal, press function button and then press power button. Wait a few seconds. When the LED light flashes three times, it means that the gimbal has started to calibrate. Calibration process will take around six or eight seconds. During the calibration, just observe the LED light. When the LED light stops flashing, it means calibration has finished. Just wait a few seconds more. If the LED light flashes constantly, it means the calibration is successful. After that, just turn off the gimbal and restart again and start using the calibrated gimbal. We are here in Jalan Santo City Park surrounded by the coconut trees. And now we will show you the modes of APA5 gimbal. When we first press power button of the gimbal, it will be in semi-following mode. In semi-following mode, the gimbal only will follow right and left direction. As you see, now I am turning to right, it is following me. And now I am turning it to the left, it is following my hand as well. But when I move it upwards or downwards, it's not following. Let's press the function button again. In this mode, as you see, the gimbal has been locked. The gimbal is not moving to any direction, either to the right or to the left. 
because all axes and directions are all in lock position now. Let me press again. Now the gimbal is in following mode. All following mode. Then we turn right. It is following. Then we turn it to the left. It is following. And or then we move it to the upwards. It is also going upwards. And then when we move it to the downwards, it is also going downwards. So this is all following mode. The gimbal has also another mode, which is called inverting mode. When we move the gimbal upside down, this is inverting mode. This mode is inverting mode. When we bring it to the normal position, it is all in following mode. So these are the four modes of this AFA5 gimbal. When the function button flashes continuously like that, it means the battery is low. You must charge the battery immediately. And now we will show you some videos taken by using different modes of this gimbal. Now I am using all following mode in fish board. And now I will use inverting mode. Thank you for watching our video. We hope that it is useful to you. Please note that we will be sharing many more videos soon. So please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. When you subscribe, you will be the first one to be notified from our next videos. And your subscriptions will help us and encourage us to prepare more videos as well. And please also don't forget to like our video and share your comments in the comment section just down below. Until we see you in our next video, please take care of yourself. Bye-bye.